comedy is great and comedy becomes classic when there's really nothing you could add to it to make it any better. Um, you know, that's why the notion of, of say, colorizing uh, duck soup so that more people will sit through it is... What are you talking about? Let's not put our foot through a Rembrandt here. The last man nearly ruined this place. He didn't know what to do with it. If you think this country's bad off now, just wait till I get through with it. What the Marx Brothers did, particularly in Duck Soup, was parody political jargon and uh, cliché political attitudes and the power structure. The country's taxes must be fixed, and I know what to do with it. If you think you're paying too much now, just wait till I get through with it. They've always denied that duck soup had any real political overtones, but they were very intelligent people writing the stuff. Our men are being badly beaten in open warfare. I suggest we dig trenches. Dig trenches? With our men being killed off like flies? There isn't time to dig trenches. We're buying ready-made. Here, run out and get some trenches. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Get them this high, and our soldiers won't need any pants. Yes, sir. They're being attacked, and every, like, 20 seconds, what they're dressed in changes. Awfully decent of you to drop in today. I was probably uh, 10 years old, and that just um, blew my small little mind. And remember, while you're out there risking life and limb through shot and shell, we'll be in here thinking what a sucker you are. It said so much about the fact that war is this idiotic thing that repeats itself over and over again, and the only thing that changes is the uniform. Torpedo! Torpedo, eh? Call me an eh? Laugh at the lighter side of politics when the Marx Brothers try to save the country of Fredonia in Duck Soup. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern here on Turner Classic Movies.